Alright, welcome back to another tutorial on the EPS 16 Plus. And today we'll look at the Command LFO menu. Um, the Command LFO menu has very useful features in it, like for example, let me show you the clear data, copy data, replicate data, reverse data, invert data, add data and scale data we're starting off with a sine wave and it sounds like this I created it inside the box just by filtering the internal square wave and I set the filter settings to cut off at around 40 so you'll get this And it's actually a nice uh, sine wave type of sound. Now, first off, I want to show you something. That if you just put a bunch of these sine waves together in different pitches, you can create very nice sounds. Now if you turn on the effects and That sounds very cool, let's try another example, listen to this Again I have some layers uh, with different pitches And I'm gonna switch them on and nothing in five so here layer three layer four and then turn on some nothing in layer five turn on some effects Yeah, some really cool sounds just by using the sine wave, but that's not what we're looking at. We're going to look at the command LFO menu, so I'm turning off the effects and I'm loading my sine wave again. And if we press command LFO, we get into the menu and if we scroll one menu down from the clear menu, we get to the scale menu. And then when we press yes we need to input a start address for the um, scaling and an end address and now this sample is uh, 264 samples long but actually my um, loop is 265 256 samples long so the EPS adds something but that's okay um, yeah we're gonna set it to a really short amount so only to six samples which is 12 which is two percent of the whole sample uh, and we're just gonna adjust the uh, scaling so the, the, the volume of those six samples by a value of three uh, actually a value of five and we're gonna set the end to five as well and then we're gonna scale it at 3 dB so there's our sine wave now if you press yes So you get a really nice waveform with a little bit of an edge to it. Uh, it's still a sine wave, but it kind of has this rattle. So I made a preset, sounds like this. Yeah, 
Oh, sounds pretty awesome to me. So um, let's go to the second example, the second one. Let's load the sine wave again. Okay, and let's use the same menu. So let's use the scaling again, but now we're gonna set the end address to uh, half of the wave sample. So that's 128 samples. And we're gonna set the scaling level to three for both the start and the end. And then this is what comes up. Hold on, 3 dB. So yeah, that sounds nice. You can actually add some harmonics to that sine wave. So I made another preset with this called Chordal Bass. For instance, that's another example, a really nice sound that you create just inside the box. And let's move to example three. And let me load up that sine wave again. Oh, so lovely. Now let's move to uh, the clear data menu and see what it does um, yeah let's just clear out some information from this waveform and I set the start address to zero and the end address to 128 and this is what happens It's almost an organ kind of sound. So now let's take it a step further. Uh, let's clear out 75% of this waveform and see what happens. So we have this here now. And let's clear out 75% of the wave. sounds more like a saw wave kind of thing. Now I have the sequence loaded. Yeah, that sounds nice, I think. So let's see what happens when we clear out uh, more. So when we clear out 98% of this wave sample. So we're gonna set the start address to zero and address to uh, 98% and press yes and it's cleared. And somehow this audio dropped from the video, I don't know how, but it sounded very softly. So. I normalized it and we end up with uh, this sound. So you can just play with that and I think this sound is really good for creating like a string machine type of sound. Uh, it, it has a thinner uh, quality to it. So anyway, let's go back to uh, another example. Let's load up the sine wave again and let me turn off the effect.
Okay, let's now uh, look at copying data. So what happens when we copy, for instance, the first 32 samples of this waveform to another location in this same waveform. So let's set the start address to zero and the end address is 32 samples. And let's press enter and it's asking to copy where it should copy so we copy it to the same sample but we're going to copy it to um, destination address 64 in this same wave So we end up with a saw type uh, of wave sample with a nice low end to it. Um, now let's copy some more just for fun. Now copy the same 32 samples and copy it to uh, destination. Well, what shall we do? kind of sound which is nice too so just to show you the difference just by simple actions um, let's do it another time so sample uh, copy the first two 32 uh, samples now copy it to location 224 and listen to this up with uh, even a thinner pulse wave sample uh, that's nice I like that um, and now the next thing we can do with that is invert part of this wave sample so we're gonna flip the, f the flip it around so everything in the wave sample is positive is going to be negative We're going to set again a start address and an end address, and I'm going to set the end address to, uh, let me see, yeah, 64. So listen to this. Now let me flip it back so you can hear the difference. So by inverting that you get kind of a high pass filtered uh, sound. And I made a preset with this one. Let me load it up and play it for you. And let me add some effects to that. Hold on. So, for example, that's one sound. Try it out yourself. Try and make some uh, nice waveforms. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have fun.